Hello and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay this morning. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel um, so that you can get the notifications. If you find yourself unsubscribed to the channel, please make sure you subscribe again. We have people that's trying to compromise the channel and until uh, the people that we have now um, in place to um, to handle them, okay? Um, just subscribe to the channel again okay uh definitely make sure that you do that okay well this today i wanted to talk about cornelius uh cornelius smith of course i always get the tea okay and i have some tea on cornelius smith and on hernandez govan start with cornelius smith okay of course i was downtown um yesterday downtown at the you know, hanging around the police department because I had to go handle some business. And of course, for you all that know that has been coming over to the channel, you all know that I had worked for both police departments for a total of 18 years. And so that would mean that I have quite a few friends that are still there when you've worked somewhere for so long. And when I was down there yesterday, I had the opportunity to get the tea on straight drop on Cornelius and on Hernandez Govan, okay? And in talking to some of my friends who actually uh, have contact with uh, Cornelius, I'm hearing that Cornelius is starting to get really restless, okay? Of course, I know I did a video before and I kind of threw out some hints of, about uh, Cornelius and kind of letting you all know because he's been like, it appears that he has been like a quieter one. That's how it appears because we all know that Stray Drop was more flamboyant. Um, he was he was the one that was, you know, when Young Dolph was killed, he was he was more arrogant. He kind of put into the atmosphere, um, uh, you know, he kind of put some stuff into the atmosphere. I think they thought that they would definitely get away with it. And we know that Stray Drop had wanted a, uh, a record. Uh, career uh, a rap career in which it appears to us that he was promised a rap career and they had started to gift him with that and many people thinking that that was uh the payment one of the payments for taking young Dolph out so you know you have to wonder who would be able to have that type of um um payment to give somebody that means you would have to have like a record label or something like that some connects to be able to uh pay somebody to go and take out another famous rapper hint hint okay so but what what i was saying in one of my last videos is you know i'm hearing that cornelius is also a singer and a rapper okay even though people didn't know a whole lot about cornelius okay um I'm hearing that he sings and he raps, okay? And he loves to write raps, right? Okay, so, you know, that was something, as I said in another video, that was something that was extremely um, surprising to me, you know, which I guess it should not have been surprising because it seems now that uh, a lot of these young dudes are, these people are promising, some of these people in the background promising these little dudes record deals and things of that nature, as well as a little bit of money um, for taking uh, someone out if they go out and be their little hitters or whatever. And as you know, the FBI said, ain't nobody spending no hit money, okay, but the lawyers and they're proving it, okay but you know the word on the street is that cornelius is saying that if they don't do something really quick he gonna start talking okay now the funny thing is the person said you know i wonder how much more you know what he's going to tell because he has already you know been putting some things in the atmosphere he has not been quiet we know from the very beginning that cornelius was the one that was first uh, arrested first and after he was arrested okay 
Straight Drop was arrested afterwards. And let me let me just give you a little tea on this. And I said, you know, I did say this. I said, well, you know, if you look at Cornelia Smith and you and you you look at him in Straight Drop, Straight Drop kind of looks at him in court as, you know, I know you. You might have said some of your ML. He kind of gives them the side eye. And so the person, one of the people that I was talking to said, well, do you notice how we, we, we kind of keep them separated? Because Straight Drop kind of don't hide his disdain for Cornelia Smith. Okay. He don't, he, he kind of don't hide it. All right. So, I mean, y'all, this stuff is interesting, but to continuously, you know, they say Cornelius is very vocal, but I said that in the last video a couple weeks ago, but he's starting to get more and more restless. If they don't, man, if they don't do something, if they don't hurry up and do something, they don't do what's right. I'm going to start talking. I'm going to start talking. And so, you know, it's just kind of funny because they say, but, you know, it ain't like he ain't, he's been quiet because he, he hadn't been quiet you know like that so i guess you know he's got some more somebody is not moving at the speed that cornelius would like them to move it because he gonna put some more stuff out into the atmosphere so y'all this is gonna be interesting okay it's definitely gonna be interesting and here's the thing and this is just in my opinion based on what i've been told and what they have uh, it, it leads me to the conclusion that Cornelius was definitely out there. Okay. Um, I know that, you know, Cornelius in the, Cornelius had an attorney. Uh, uh, he's a high priced attorney too. Okay. He's not the most high priced one in, in Memphis, but he's definitely high priced. Okay. Uh, he's, he's one of the better ones and he, it seems like he had him immediately. Somebody definitely wanted to start taking care of Cornelius immediately. Um, I believe whoever it is that was taking care of him, they didn't necessarily care about what he had put into the atmosphere about stray drop, but it would not have been eat, uh, hard for the police to zone in on straight drop because as i said you know straight drop and jojo sweat and all those little dudes uh had it was it, you know they put themselves out there you know in the beginning they were very boastful about what they had done so it would not have been hard for the police to zone in on them or to get uh cornelius uh smith uh to uh you know to to nod his head that they were going in the right direction okay but let's just be clear i do believe that based on what i've been told that cornelius smith is involved i do believe that he was definitely out there it was a lot of little dudes out there y'all you know there were definitely other cars out there the police is well aware of it uh the that the authorities are well aware of, of of the cars that was out there as i said they um have had witnesses uh that that knew about this situation to work with them and hey i have to say i'm very proud of how they have kept the witnesses uh protected being that they you know the people that was behind this had worked hard and endlessly with the bloggers and things of that nature that they had put on the internet to try to find the witnesses um i'm happy that they have been very proactive in making sure that these witnesses have been kept safe but let's just make it clear i do believe that he was out there based on what i was told i don't see how he could not have been out there and and based on what i was told he he might get some deals based on everything that he is telling but he ain't gonna get off okay if he gets off i'll be very surprised but based on what i've been told what i've been saying from the beginning when it before they ever even said that there was two thousand pages of 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 uh evidence and counting i kept saying when people were saying well they're saying that cornelia smith is you know it's innocent i said listen i wasn't out there but based on what i've been told by reliable sources i don't know how they're gonna get off and i maintain that okay but cornelius is getting restless you know i don't know if the money is running low as it relates to that lawyer I don't know, but I hear he's getting more and more restless every day. So I would have to assume, even though he might have told some, 
he got a lot more where that came from if they don't do something okay those they said those are his words if they don't do something because he's getting more and more chatty okay he's getting more and more chatty okay so I think I spoke about that two weeks ago. I kind of threw out some hints. See, y'all know I throw out hints, but I had the opportunity to sit down and get a get quite a bit of tea, and I'll give y'all some more of that tea. You know, as as time progresses, you know, I can't base I can't give it all away, um, and and not because I'm trying to hold it. It's just because you have to. You know, we we're hoping that you know Cornelius just. Even though I think Cornelius is going in the right direction or doing the right thing, we we want Cornelius to just go on and feel more comfortable to continue on doing the right thing, okay? But anyway, so let's move on to Orange Mound Quit, okay? Because I ended up getting some tea on Orange Mound Quit also. And Orange Mound Quit is an interesting specimen, okay? You know, they, they're trying to say that Orange Mound Quit is the person that... Um, that um did this that that paid for the hit we know even though orange mound quit was a drug dealer and he was out in the street they say getting money and things of that nature he was still living over there orange mound and i shout out to the people in orange mound i always say that orange mound has a lot of history and uh first community that african americans started living in really able to buy homes and and things of that nature that was very proud of that so shout out to orange mound okay but uh i you know i just have to be real i don't know anybody getting money like that you know living in a house that he was living in over there okay maybe it was rental property too, okay because people do that because you know um you know i'm hearing that god he had rental property right around that house that car was in okay but you know that that ain't nothing okay because people buy rental properties you know, my dad got a whole lot of rental properties, okay? But, um, Orange Mound quit, okay? They're saying that he paid for, they're, they're, they're saying at this point that he paid for the hit when we know that Orange Mound quit ain't had no money to pay for no hit. Orange Mound quit at one point had, um, if you all, I was the one that went into the computer back in, in January and, and did a video and I was the one that put out that he had declared himself indigent. Orange Mound quit had asked the court to hire him a private investigator because he had declared himself indigent. Now, even though he did, Massey is still on as his attorney. Okay, and I think I had explained that even though he's still on as his attorney, sometimes what they'll do is they will allow, start taking less money and allow the county to pay them, right? Well, um, Orange Mound Quet is an interesting specimen. I hear, you know, first of all, you know, Orange Mound Quet, I was told yesterday, he is in high profile custody, okay? Um, they made an area down in lower level housing. Um, um, I, they, I, it, they put him in an isolated area down there. They isolated his pod and put him in high profile custody. Okay. Down there in, and I believe he's in lower level, uh, J or something like that. And so, as I had said before, they can actually start isolating pods and not put anybody else in a pod with an inmate and make it a high profile pod and just isolate them uh straight drop is very unique because what they had to do is put straight drop away from all of the inmates okay straight drop is around no he comes in contact with nobody so that just lets you know how how profile he is so that's i guess that's the reason why when he's out you know people try to jack him every time they see him but orange mountain quit is in a pod by himself he's he's not in a dorm with anybody else he they also have him in high profile custody i did not know that but they made his cell uh an isolated cell and he's in high profile custody too so he is also being protected i didn't know that but i was told that yesterday and i was told that orange mountain quit uh you know hey he gets he he does not eat the jail food okay they're able to order now you know i guess they've gotten more innovative they can have um fr uh, fresh favorites which comes from the cafeteria within um you could pay um within the um jail and that's what he eats fresh 
fresh favorites or they can have food brought to them okay so food is ordered and i'm hearing that it's it's, it's it, you know it's two times as or three times as expensive and that's what he eats every single day right the officers bring it to his cell every day and it's not just for orange mound quet this is for any inmate that can afford it uh, i'm hearing orange mound quet is i guess he's fortunate enough to afford it every day because they say he has not eaten any of the regular inmate food since he has been there he has always had fresh favorites and um i'm hearing now that they can have food ordered in from the outside like on certain days if they want mcdonald's or something like that you know um the officers search it down or whatever and as as they were doing they get that too but they say he has not eaten any of the uh regular inmate food uh he's he's always he spends plenty of money and he's had the money to do it every day since he has been there now orange mound quet was probably arrested back in august and so hey he's spending plenty of money here is a bombshell orange mound quet has hired some high profile lawyers from out of atlanta okay he's got lawyers that has been hired so what i did was i was like oh okay so when they told me that after i got home i went and i looked and i see that massey is still his attorney but what the person did tell me is they may bring them in up under massey and they said and i know for a fact that the attorneys are from they coming from atlanta which means now if you remember the oj simpson's case uh, the same thing happened. This could be a replica of that. Johnny Cochran was the lead attorney and they started to bring in other high profile attorneys from other areas. They were, you know, practicing in different states. Some of them because Paul Newfell and all of them were from New York, but they had certain expertise. Okay. Um, but they had license to practice in LA okay so um this could be one of those and johnny cochran just stayed on in as the lead attorney and this could be very well what is happening but the thing about it is who is paying for these attorneys who is paying for, the, paying for these attorneys but as i said uh the rumor is is that they was mad at quit straight drops people because he had not gotten get, given straight drop all of his money but like i said the word on the street was that Quet did not get all of his money. And all of that is probably starting to change. Okay, it's probably starting to change. But I mean, you you know, I, I'm not gonna be phony. You never know with that situation because me personally, I kind of believe that they was planning on selling straight drop up the river, okay? But money is being spent for sure. But it's weird because he declared himself indigent Okay, as I said, he asked the courts to pay for him a investigator. I made a mistake and said attorney, but he had asked the courts to pay for him an investigator. Okay, so it, it's just, it's really tricky. Okay, it's, it, it's not that tricky. I think they're trying to be smart, but you know, in this situation, they can't be smart. They're going to have to spend some money. Okay, and the courts is going to see that. And it, this kind of happens quite a bit when... People think that they're slick, but Orange Mound Quet can't afford to play broke like he ain't got no money because his life is on the line. We know that Orange Mound Quet ain't had no money to pay for no hit. Even though I hear that Big Jook do some dirty stuff, has always done dirty stuff. I believe that I don't believe that he would have stepped out and did that without going over that with somebody above him. Hint, hint. Okay.
I I have to be so far out of the way that nobody even knows the video we made. You feel me? So I got up to him. Me and brother and took the other. Talked about him. So whoever trying to say they career man, need to see some videos while the label budget is cut out. Labels, labels, they cut out. No more, no more. We still open. CMB still open. Budget never closed. You feel me? But uh, oh, I took, I could pause on this dude. If it's real, I could come up on it. You gotta go to the pause. So I'm gonna be real too. 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 Right now. They don't stack it, man. They put it, they waste it all on the drip. See all this drip? I ain't bad. Yeah. We don't worry. We don't worry. You hear me? All this shit, y'all. You see what I'm saying? the money up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we can try. I ain't fucking up. That's what I want to do, man. See, you have to understand, people want to omit certain people. And I know it's easy because people always talk about how Big Juke always did, you know, how loyal he is to his brother. He always did the dirt of his brother. He would always go do his brother's time. And if you look at some of his posts, he put, I'll go do time for my brother. I'll go die for my brother. He put that in a... Uh, but you know it's easy for people to say that at some point in their life and when they start to get older they got kids you know 60 years is a long time you ain't gonna get out no more you're gonna go ahead and croak on over up in there especially you in your you you pushing 50 okay but you have to think about what big juke them um and your god of them you have to look at some of those artists around them okay some of those see um straight drop in them are the low-hanging fruits and trust me okay they're just the limbs okay uh orange mound quit would be the branch y'all know i always talk about the roots of a tree that's my favorite i, I love to do that and uh straight dropping uh uh Quinil um they're the low-hanging fruits straight drop and they're the limbs and Cornelius and all the rest of them little dudes that was out there. Okay. Teasing them. Um, and Orange Mound quit and teasing them. I'll, I'll say teasing Orange Mound quit will probably be the branch. Okay. Um, but you have to think about, there are about four other people or more that that's the root. They were the ones that, you know, held that tree up. Okay, they're, they're the roots of the tree, which means that they are the problems, okay? And people want to omit some of those people, but I just don't think any of them are worthy of being omitted, okay? And y'all probably going to see that in the end, okay? But yes, indeed, you guys, I wanted to give the tea on that, okay? Uh, Cornelius is getting restless. He has gotten restless, okay? And Orange Mound Quit got a... A team from out of Atlanta that's coming in has hired a team from out of Atlanta, and um, hey, it, they're high price attorneys, but they're gonna put them at this point up under uh, Massey, okay? So, it, I guess it would look like you know, when you start, when you sometimes when you don't see their main attorneys or whatever in court. Um, that you'll go, oh, okay, well, that's a team that's probably working in Massey's office when actually that's, that's probably how they're trying to do it. But I got, the, you know, but uh, you, when you get the tea on stuff, you know, that it's a high priced firm from out of Atlanta that they're kind of putting up on the Massey right now that they've hired to represent him, child. So child, this is, this stuff is going to get interesting. And as I said, I had got the tea that is looking like that their trial, um, if they don't plead out for some of them, we'll uh, start in January of 2024, okay? Um, 
that's what it's looking like right now okay this case is far from over because there will be other indictments and you can mark my word on that one that check gonna cash i promise you that um young Dolph has a really big case it is you it's amazing how many people i'm hearing you know that is being looked at and that is involved you know all of this so many people's lives are going to be ruined but all because they wanted to ruin one man's life and i think they're going to see in the end that it was absolutely just not worth it absolutely just not worth it as i have been saying to uh, my my members my subscribers especially my members we're on indictment watch because some more indictments are going to be coming down and when those come down it's going to be some more right but i got some hot pipe and tea on um some more hot tea especially on orange mound quit but i'm gonna wait until the coast is clear you know we can't release too much into the atmosphere um just yet when the coast is clear i'm going to uh, release that to my members of course all right again i want to say rest in peace to young Dolph, and my heart goes out to his family uh such a talent and such a senseless killing and as i always say those that are involved um rather it be the people that paid uh the people that carried this out the people that actually has been trying to uh get money to help cover up or to help to eliminate those who could uh give uh, this young man justice in totality um may they all be brought to justice okay um and i just i got a really good feeling okay i i have a lot of confidence um in this in the people that's working this case i do um shout out to uh, the witnesses and their bravery and wanting to do what's right um may our people start to uh understand the power that we have to build up our community and stop taking out potential leaders it's been happening since the 60s it seems like anybody that has the bravery uh, to help to lead our community out of bondage um, they're taken down right it started with dr king it was it started way before then you know because we got mega evers we got all of those ones that they don't even talk about okay um, but definitely um, um, Malcolm X, um, um, other people that the media has kind of blacked out because they don't ever want us to know about. If we ever know the power that we have and how great of a leaders we had that came before us to include women. I talk about Cornelia Crenshaw, um, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, all of those people that they only talk about every now and again and then we forget okay or they just completely black out they don't ever want us to know that there's a blueprint they keep us consumed with trying to take each other out and uh, they keep our communities poor and things of that nature so people can kill a leader that would help to bring them and their families out of bondage okay um they'll do it for a dollar okay and so this stuff has got to stop definitely rest in peace to young Dolph. okay but anyways you guys i wanted to put that into the atmosphere i want you guys to please like share and subscribe if you would like to support the channel you can definitely support the channel via cash app i want you guys to know how much i appreciate you so much uh how much i appreciate you supporting the channel okay it means a lot to me and i definitely don't take it uh, for granted or take it lightly okay I want to thank you guys for tuning in and I'll talk with you later.